February uh, 1941, during the German occupation, uh, there was uh, uh, in uh, the first Retia on Jewish young men uh, was uh, 425 Ju uh, Jewish men were uh, kept, uh, captured, uh, arrested by the Germans, and uh, no one of them survived. And uh, in Amsterdam, the most uh, lived a lot of Jews, uh, about 10% uh, of the of the uh, inhabitants from Amsterdam were Jewish. And all um, people from Amsterdam were very angry. And then the, the Communist Party uh, called on uh, to strike on the 25th of February and uh, 10,000 of uh, uh, laborers uh, striked against the uh, uh, measures from the Germans against the Jews. And uh, it was the first time in history, and I think it was only the, the only strike in whole Europe that uh, people striked against now, the, the measure from the Nazis against the Jews. And um, every, every year from, from 1956 on, it's here in, on this place, there's a, a memorandum, the statue of uh, one of the strikers. So it was a, a, a harbor laborer. And in the in the harbor, there were the, uh, began the, the strike, and uh, it was the first strike against racism. And uh, it's necessary still today to. Uh, demonstrate against racism. This is um, a gathering of people and um, uh, it's uh, about uh, what happened in 1941, the beginning of the war and uh, uh, discrimination and injustice that was uh, uh, happening to the people, to the Jews um, and people were just fed up with it. They were just fed up with the regime and what was happening and uh, they wanted to stand for, uh, they wanted to come together and stand together and fight against the regime or what was happening uh, surround them. And uh, that's a really beautiful thing. I think that's really, really beautiful and really important that it must continue. Uh, we must stay and remember because it's not only 1941 that these things were happening, they're still happening today all over the world. Um, we, we mustn't forget that because how bigger society gets um, if, if people just follow each other, the one after the other one, it's so dangerous. Uh, injustice, just because your neighbor is okay with it to discriminate people, then people are more easy to go and follow others. That was what's happening in the Second World War. They were afraid or they just didn't care to stand against uh, uh, the regime. That's still happening today. It's not easy to, uh, as a little force, stand uh, against the bigger force. And that's why it was so incredible that so, so many people and so many organizations were coming together and helping helping the, the people that were done injustice and just go against everybody. Um, sadly, it's just, yeah, it's coming back. It's, it, I'm, I'm sure in, in history it will come back, but we can learn from the past and we can see this as a beautiful thing. Today there weren't as many people as like 30 years ago, but it doesn't matter, there's still coming people. That's beautiful. I think this day is not only a sad thing we should remember, it's more a beautiful thing that, how do I say, born out of inside the people feeling together like, no, this is wrong, this is not justice what's going on and we should 
fight together and stand together and help each other. And I think that's that's marvelous. You don't see that. You don't see that very often nowadays. So a lot of people are sad because they feel like uh, 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 this is quieting down. Uh, um, they try to like ruin it, but I don't think we should focus on the negative part. I think we should focus on the positive part. It wasn't a very negative environment that something so beautiful and positive was born out. You know, and I think it's an example and a beautiful thing for us new generation to learn about and uh, to never forget. If we only look at Holland, politically wise, yeah, it's, it's starting again. Um, politicals are not talking like politicals should. They're talking with emotions and they're excluding people. You should never do that as uh, somebody with such a high function you shouldn't be as uh, close-minded like that and it's very dangerous thought you can be unhappy with unsatisfied with what's happening with the nation and wanna you wanna create something you wanna solve the problem you don't but that's not what's happening they're not solving the problem they're making the problem bigger because when everybody is fighting against each other then they the ones that are shouting, the ones that are in the political, um, how can I say it, situation, uh, the, 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 the political himself, he just want to get power. He don't care about solutions or anything. Uh, so there could be a problem, yeah, I'm, don't, I'm not ignoring that, but I'm sure as hell sure he's not solving it either. He's only making it bigger and that's, um, it's all about power. That's it. And, uh, and uh, we, should be more not not how do you say more uh, aware that it's not um, how, to not follow discrimination and excluding people that's too dangerous um, yeah I think uh, I, I, and in the world also it, it happens everywhere I mean it's it's human nature we are humans because we can use our reason and although there are many people that only want power there are also many people that want justice not as lot as the ones that want power but we are here and we come together and in time of need you can see that we try it's not as many as it, it, it would be nice if it were met more people but they are there and we are here and we try to help each other as much as we can uh, what people can do to make the situation better yeah not close your eyes not go with the flow don't if somebody next to me tell me yeah a Moroccan did or a Moroccan did I'm like you can be uh, unhappy with a person or unhappy with the situation but don't call on a whole nation don't put it on one side you can always speak your mind and never agree with yeah you're right yeah yeah okay you know no never don't don't ignore the those those are the little things and yeah there are bigger things that you can do but oh i'm no i'm no world saver so <laughs> For now, that's the best thing I, for, for the environment that we are here in Holland. We, I'm grateful we don't have any war here. We don't uh, have uh, bombs flying over us like in Hans. Um, but they also were filming it and were telling the world, look what's happening here, don't close your eyes. And that's the best message. That's what you can do. Don't close your eyes, don't ignore what's happening. Speak your mind. Never be afraid to speak your mind. But always in such a way that you get your right.